Man, what are we gonna tell Chuka about her imaginary dad? Like, we're gonna have to tell her at some point that, yo, like, I think he's dead. You gotta get over it. So I feel like this episode might be sad. But hey, maybe we're just gonna have a happy lolly, you know, Mercury scenes all over again like last episode. Let's begin. <laughs> By the way, by the way, you motherfuckers didn't fucking fix me either. You see over here, the Kuribayashi girl that I kept saying I liked is actually the third girl right over here. The one on the far right is actually Kuribayashi. And none of you motherfuckers said anything about it. Do you even know what anime you guys are fucking watching? Do y'all even know what fucking anime, what the characters' names even are? One person might have said it. But nobody else, as soon as I mention it, I should see a fucking chat flooding say, hold up. Who do you buy? Who are you talking about? You motherfuckers don't even, you're just so fixated on the fucking lolly that you don't even know who Kuribayashi is. So every time I said Kuribayashi, you, did, you didn't even want to, you guys are fucking fakes. You don't even know, you don't even watch Gate. Right over here, right over here again, 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 again. Kuribayashi on the right, the shorter one, but the one that I like is this tall one right over here. This one right beside Chuka. Lele might be better than Chuka. I think Lele's personality is hard carrying. Chuka only got her looks going on. I don't know anything about her yet. Is she interested in her? Because like, before? Before? Remember how, like, that girl that I said I like beside Lele, you know, was offering Chuka food and shit, and Chuka was, like, being very, like, oh, not, uh, like, she was, like, being very, like, uh, what's the word, like, nervous and anxious, just, like, walking away, and I'm, like, what the fuck is going on there? And, I, and, I, and, then I, and then it was revealed that last episode, she feels bad because she can't offer anything back, and she feels like she's, you know, baggage, and that's, like, oh, that I, I, that I understand, but right now, again, we keep seeing some random sussy scenes. Is this a Yuri in the making? Yeah, yeah! Okay. It's, it's a Yuri, okay? Chuka, Chuka understands. Real eyes, real eyes, real... Actually, that's not the right line. This is supposed to be real recognizes real. Chuka understands that the best human... This girl might be that human girl. I straight up don't know her name, bro. What the fuck is her name? Kawarata? Kawa something? Why is Italica on fire? <laughs> Did Lele? <laughs> look at Lele, look at Lele, look at Lele, look at Lele. She had the binoculars on. She was looking, but she had the other way around. And she's like, huh? What's going on? I can't see shit. And then she flips it around. <laughs> then she's like, oh, it's working now. See, this is why Lele. <laughs> Have, like, listen, I get the appeal of Rory and Mercury, but Lele is winning out in terms of pure personality with these comedic moments. Like, if we're talking straight sexual appeal, I understand Rory Mercury clears, but Lele hilarious like that. She wants to ride? You want to ride? What? Oh, the tongue. Battle of Italica. Oh, shit. They're gonna attack. Bye? Infighting? Oh, so I don't know why the princess is, you know, helping out. She's probably fighting for Italica, but like, okay, if she's getting under attack, we're gonna probably show up, save the princess, and then suddenly she joins the harem, and then it leads to the empire oh, somehow? Oh. Is this not Italica? Hot oil? Dude, that might be one of the worst ways to fucking die. Just getting like dunked by hot oil. You're doing fine, old man. Huh. Is Gray built different? Okay, everyone else was pretty wiped out here, right? Look, look. Okay. Gray built different? I'll take note. Alright. <laughs> We're helping Countess Formon. Remnants of our own allied troops have turned to banditry. It makes sense because the fucking empire fucking displaced every allied places, right? 
They poisoned the wells. They ruined the fucking livelihood. And they, they, they just ruined everything. So it makes sense that they would, you know, turn to bandits and attack, you know, whatever closest to Empire or other, other shit like that. Princess is so triggered. Bald, bald. No, no, no. My knights, no, no, no. Itami will come. I don't think her words are reaching everyone, though. She's a little... I don't know, forceful. What did you say? <laughs> Open the <laughs> okay, she's kind of funny. She is fucking ruthless. Jesus! One or two? You, you can handle one or two? The fucking fan fiction is writing itself. 50 or 100? You're gonna take 50 to 100 bandit backshots? I'm not sure if she's jesting. What? Sounds like cope to fucking cheap out on food. Alright. Okay, the, the maid and the princess. Very strong. Nice little, I don't know, <laughs> banter. This is her first battle ever, huh? Okay. You're gonna get bailed out. Okay, uh, backstory? Princess backstory. Do we know the second one right over here? We do know that's part of our squad. I'm not sure if the other ones... Why are they all girls? Where's the guys? Gray? Bro has not fucking changed! Well, actually, this... How many years is ago? I, it, honestly, like, once you reach like a certain age, like, you're not gonna look that different from, from like 50 to like 55 or 56. Oh. Alright. The march. Hmm. So the nobles, look at these, you know, I don't know if they're concubines, but look at all these girls, right? They all look very down on us. They think that a princess shouldn't be doing shit like this. I guess... You know, a princess leading the charge like that, it, it is like a role for like a very, it's like a masculine role. So I guess back in the day, they think that it's like unseen. Uh, it, it, it's not appropriate that, you know, girls are leading like that. Oh, don't trip now. Oh, no, they're going to laugh even more now. I, I, I wouldn't be sneering at the idea of female soldiers, but I would laugh at the kid falling. I would totally laugh. Yes. Princess born to a concubine. A concubine is not like the main wife. Is that correct? So this is just one of the emperor's daughters, right? The emperor has many wives. Gotcha. So is there like a... Do we know if there's like a main uh, wife? Right? If there's, like a, if there's actually a main wife... And like actual, ch we have probably haven't seen them yet, right? Does the main wife exist, or does that not matter? Because I'm trying to think of like I don't know, maybe like there's like a main wife and they actually have the, the true heirs to the throne, and I don't know. Uh, is spoilers? Is is it spoilers? If it's spoilers, we we, we can just chill. Hmm. Gray and Himesama. They got a nice thing going on, huh? And she creates the Order of Knights. Gray gets to join. Like their own independent forces. Augustus. Roman. Rose Knight Order. Gotcha. No, no, the other girls did join. It's the blonde curly hair girl. Okay, okay, they all kind of joined. Honor guards? Honor guards. So like not the, so they're basically cheerleaders, huh? They're not like actual like frontline army squadrons. They're fucking <laughs> they, you got to put your knight armor on, look pretty, you know, you know, wave your flag. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Now she's got everything to prove, huh? 
そなたの騎士団と共に Is it that trolling? Bald, bald, bald そうだもしそなたのしていることの話だ Quite condescending, huh? Quite condescending 確かに Still flashback, so they, got, they go out on the scouts Is something bad gonna happen? What the fuck? Hey, we fucking wake up! <laughs> she did say she'd fucking wake us up with water, but goddamn, what the fuck? We were in the middle of a flashback! Maybe I shouldn't be complaining. Maybe I should not be complaining. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the king... I'm not sure... Like, the king just probably finds um, Hime-sama kind of useful, right? Because, like, she went out of her own way to... Or like cr like train up you know her friends and basically created like an order of knights which is kind of at the end of the day it's at least useful right it's at least like she's doing something so I bet the king finds the princess to be like a useful toy kind of but at the end of the day does he actually care for her probably not because she's one of like the countless children that he's had with concubines. <laughs> Forged iron carriage. Oh, Lele? We come in peace. And Goth Lolly. And Goth Lolly. The apostle. That's right. The oracle's here too. Uh huh. Oh my god, look at that walk. So, are you gonna tell me that this walk is like made? Like, like what, what is this walk? Is, is this specifically trained? All oracles must walk like this? Shinigami? Rory the Reaper? So she's an oracle? She's an apostle? She's also a reaper? What the fuck? Are all apostles of Emroy Shinigami? Okay, let me, let me, y'all are fucking arguing. Okay, sometimes I say some dumb shit and you guys actually take a serious salt. I'll, t I'll take it even more dumber, all right? So you're gonna say that she's walking like that to maintain her center of gravity? No. Look at the fucking sight! Look at the distribution of the site. Where is all the heavy points at? <laughs> no, don't be sorry. I'm not <laughs> getting angry at you. I'm just gonna be even more dumber, okay? I'm just spotting some random shit too. Look at the axe! It's all focused on the right! There's no way Rory should be able to do a catwalk like this to fucking maintain her balance. She should be leaning all the way to the fucking left, okay? She needs to be walking like this! She needs to be walking like this to fucking maintain the center of gravity, okay? Wait, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? The deeds of their god to me seem to be no more than simple whim. Their god? Princess is not very religious? Open up. They're already ready to help, aren't they? <laughs> She got so worked up. <laughs> oh, Itami! <laughs> Kill her. If, if, if Itami's group wasn't good, like, if you fucking... Is this, if this is your first impression and you fucking attack the group's leader, like, you're dead. Newcomb. <laughs> you made a, you've made an enemy to Earth. <laughs> nah, Itami's chill. You don't care. <laughs> Even a dwarf? Wait, 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 what? Okay. Even a dwarf for a Komono would be more careful, racist. Uh, what's up, Rory? You're giving me a lot of autos today. What's up? Yeah, we're in. What's up? What's up? What's up? The enemy princess assaulted me. Charge in. Take all their men. Take all their women. Take all their food. <laughs> Impudent fools. The third imperial princess. So, second princess is another concubine and the first... Well, I don't know. But, but the first princess should be the crown princess, right? Or actually... What about the princes? Where's the princes? Maybe there's three princesses, but there's also princes too. I'm not sure. Okay, Italic is important for that. They just died suddenly. Three daughter power struggle at Italica. Okay, we got Mui, the youngest sister, still around. 
Oh. It's still funny how they're all just speaking fucking Japanese, but I know that she's speaking Isekai language, but the only way that, you know, there can be fucking voice acting that's Japanese, but come on, god damn it. Yes, it's Pina Colada's fault. 60% of the forces, that's what happens. Yeah, we killed them all. Sorry, not really. Is, is this our fault then? No, they started that shit. It's not our fault. You, f you, you try to fuck with us, and you got sweet justice. And now you're paying for it. The third princess? Yes. What does Miwi look like? I don't know. I thought she'd be older. She is the youngest sister, though. Okay, Pina Colada comes in. Wonder what these people think when they see these like fucking cars and tanks. That's right, we have the fire dragon clout too. Relax, bro. We're doing our job. He's probably gonna get promoted after this. Diet summons? Is this fucking gacha games we're talking about? Hmm? Request. Maybe important later. Snipe him. Snipe them. What? What makes you worry? Oh, we're being used as bait. We're the decoy. So Hime-sama's kind of fucking up the plans, huh? Even though it's unoptimal? This is Kuribayashi. Not the girl that I like. I mean, she's fine. There's nothing wrong with her. I'm just saying the girl that was hyping up is not her. Rory Mercury. Hello. I just realized. Also, what? Why? Why? Why are you? What is that arch? What? What? What is that arch? Anyway, I I just realized that um, we are focused on the war and the battle in like what we have, like our armies and like Pina Colada's forces, but like. Aren't we forgetting that we have a certain, like, Shinigami here? Couldn't she theoretically just, like, do some fucking crazy isekai bullshit and just, like, kill them all? Like, I, I feel like... And, and there's Lele too, which she hasn't really used magic yet, but, like... We ha we're not really counting on these girls in, in, in our power, you know? Does Rory like that? That we care? Oh, she's coming, she's coming! Oh. Okay. Wow, thanks, Rory. Emroy is the god of war? So we're the apostle of god of war? Killing is not sin? <laughs> this, this, this god is fucking insane! There's probably multiple gods in this world? I'm not sure, because, like, Grey was talking about... Uh, Pina was talking about how she doesn't believe in this god, multiple gods, but it's like, basically... Our god is the god of war, and it's just get good. Killing's not a sin. Lies and deception. Beat the soul. What do you think? Yeah, we're not killing guys. This is a peacekeeping. It's just a very easy way to do that. It's just to show them guns. Nah, no, that would be brute forcing it. We can't just like intimidate them. But like, what he's saying is like, hey, I want them to know that like, hey, don't fuck with us. You know, you don't want to try it with us. I'm, I'm just saying there's a much better. Wait, no, there is a way. We're just gonna show them right now with their fucking modern technology. We'll fucking kill the bandits, and the pina colada's gonna be like, holy shit, what am I doing? I cannot go against them ever again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I can tell with your voice acting. She's getting actually really horny over this. You want to terrorize the princess too? Do we even need our military forces? If Rory just goes crazy, do we need any of that shit? I'm kind of excited to see Rory pop up. Okay, okay. All right. Bad is gonna attack at nighttime. We got night vision goggles and shit, right? There they are. 
Fire arrows. Oh shit, they got the shield on their backs. All right, East Gate. They got caught off guard. So this is the princess's fault, right? We were talking about how we're being used as a decoy and the princess's strategy was unoptimal, but we're just going to go with this. So technically she fucked us. Wind? Wind magic. Oh, fuck! Okay, it's spirit wielder. Damn. Bro fell off the fucking ladder and said amazing and shot a fucking arrow back. Now nah, we need to feel a little bit of despair. Damn! Yo! This guy kind of genius. He realized that shit. I'm already fucking done, but let me fucking tackle that fire and set this place on fire. And he realizes, ah, yeah, yeah. Smart guy. Are they all fanatics to die? She fucked up. She fucked up. Her plans fucked up. But, but this is her first battle, right? She needs to get humbled, right? I, I mean, like, it's her first time doing it. I, I don't understand. But this is where Itami shows up and saves everybody. What the fuck? It's looking pretty bad. Oh. It's just random corpse, right? To basically, like, provoke them. Ah, maybe you shouldn't have done that, dummies. You got provoked. Pina, do something. You're the leader here. Pina, you're in charge. Exactly. She fucked up, right? That's so far away. But, like, I mean... Rory should be able to cover this distance super quickly. Like, is it that far? For us, maybe, to run, but like... You know, is that the fucking Shinigami? Cliffhanger coming. Cliffhanger incoming. Ending! And that's the episode. Hey, we finally got to know her name. What is her name? Pina Colada. Yes, the drink, the tropical drink. Kind of funny. Kind of funny name. I'm sure it's very intentional. Now, we got to learn a little bit more about the world building and like how... The princess is kind of treated by the king because she is like the third princess of a concubine. And we haven't even seen the princess yet. The king, the more I get to learn more about his family, uh, the more I get interested in him, right? I, it is very cu curious to see how he treats the princess. And he doesn't seem to be very cruel, but he doesn't take her seriously. Like her entire order of the knights was basically a cheerleading squad that, you know, eventually got an opportunity to now do something. And now at her first time doing this job, she just fucks up. She sends her ace, her trump card, to the wrong fucking side. <laughs> well, it was a guess, right? You can't, like, guess, like, where they would come from, but it's, like, pretty unlucky that this happened. But it's okay, because we have Lolly Mercury, apostle of the Elmroy god, which apparently is the god of war, and killing is okay, according to the god. We, and, and she's also the sage, or the oracle, or the apostle. And she's also a fucking Shinigami, because she kills everybody, and she brings them to, you know, the afterworld. So, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to cover the distance in time. Maybe we will. I mean, we got a bunch of cars and shit. Why can't we just like, you know, vroom vroom outside and fucking take the car jeep and meet around. But I kind of want Roy Mercury to just fucking pop off and just kill everybody and show me what a Shinigami can do. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.